Hello and welcome to our Cairns vlog. Yay! Woo. So we forgot to start this vlog. We are on a diving trip on the Great Barrier Reef with Pro Dive Cairns. Um, and we've just finished our second dive of the day. So what's happening is I am currently getting my paddy and Kirsty already has her paddy so she's out there diving. I did a day yesterday in the swimming pool learning all the skills and then now we're kind of translating them into the ocean. Um, and then, so I've got done two dives today, no more dives today, and then tomorrow I have two dives in the morning and then I'm fully certified. And then he's a free man and yeah. we can dive together. So I've been diving with the other certified divers, you have to have a buddy when you go out, so I've just been buddying up with another certified diver and then we can do a dive together tomorrow, which we're very excited about, aren't we? Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll show you, we've got a little cabin, so this is our double bed, we've already made a mess of it. Um, and we'll try and show you the um, yeah, we'll show you the common area common when there's area. not loads of people in there. Look, there's currently loads of people there. There's but like a top deck, you're not allowed right on the top, but there's like a back top deck, and then the common area. Oh, we should probably show you the dive schedule as well. So, there's three days, four so times we, a day. Yeah, we got on this morning at like seven o'clock. Um, so it's, yeah, it's a very early morning, yeah, three day dives, and then a night dive tonight and then tomorrow the same, and then the next day there's three dives from very early morning to around lunchtime, and then we head back to the harbour. Yeah, that's it isn't it? Nothing else to say, any tips and tricks, anything? Do it, it's fucking sick. back from my third dive which was so good um, I think I'm gonna skip the night dive tonight and do it tomorrow with Callum um, but they've just done like all the briefing on the night dive and it's a whole different story because obviously you can't see anything so you you can you have to hold your torch with one hand and then signal with only one hand so you have different signals and things like that but it looks really cool um, Callum is doing his logbook at the moment but he's just been chilling while we did our third dive um, also for reference we were on Milne Reef and then there's like different spots in Milne Reef and then tomorrow we go to Flynn I think, Flynn Reef. Um, but yeah, I'll keep trying to film little bits where I can but I'll update you again tomorrow. Day two! <laughs> so we've just done our first dive together. So we did a dive this morning, Callum finished, he's now fully certified open water diver up to 18 meters. Woo! Um, and I did a dive which was really cool actually this morning, we saw some really cool stuff. But we just done one together, we're on Flynn Reef, is that right? Mm -hmm. And it's, very, it's like the most confusing reef because usually they give you a like, we've forgotten what it's called, but you, they're like a degree so that you can work it out on your compass which direction to go in and then you kind of just swim up to the wall, swim along the wall and then come back. But this reef had like so many different things in it. It had like gates yeah. like from coral and then it had like loads of different loads bits. of bombies and then you kind of swam along a wall. Then there was like a fish bowl which is basically just like sand at the bottom and then coral all around in like a bowl. There was so much going on. We saw like sharks turtles hopefully giant clams we'll be inserting some clips and you'll see it all but it was really cool so cool we loved it and it was just the two of us just the two of us <laughs> just the two of us which is cool you feel like very free when you're just diving yeah. on your own it's probably so with all the other dives that i've done up until now they're not like fun dives or exploring uh, dives you kind of just go down and then in the group that's learning we kind of just like do exercises like you got to take off your mask and then put it back on or you got to pretend that someone's out of air so you have to give them your air supply and stuff so it's really cool and like you obviously need to learn it but you don't 
go out looking for cool fish so yeah. it's it's cool to it's like ding your skills exactly yeah so this is the first dive that i've done it's my fifth dive since being on this trip but it's the first one that i've actually gone out and seen some cool fish and stuff seems we saw some sharks yeah we saw massive what are those massive fish under the boat called that she just oh, i can't remember i was literally trying to remember what she said we'll try to figure it out and put it on the screen I was like repeating it in my head so I would remember what they were called and I've forgotten already. That's the worst memory ever. But they were like giant something something. something. It was like a metre long there. It yeah, big. and it kind of looks kind of scary. I thought it was a shark but it wasn't. Yeah, I'd say maybe a bit, like, a bit longer but mm. it was cool. But then we have our night dive tonight which we are excited about. We have yeah. dinner first though. Also the food on this trip has been very good. Yeah, it has. It has. It's been real good. Um, but yeah, we will insert all of the footage from the GoPro so you can see what it was all about. just come back from our first night dive which was so, so cool. cool as you can see it's dark outside um just you have to like run for the shower because everyone's trying to have a shower yeah. the but anyway we saw the biggest shark when we first got in how big was it it was probably like its stomach was probably literally like this wide right yeah and then it was like a meter and a half maybe maybe a bit more it was pretty it big. Was, yeah. Like the standard reef sharks are like quite thin and long, but this one was like chunky. Chunky like, boy. It was like a cross between a reef shark and like a tiger shark. Yeah, I don't want to say great white because it wasn't. But it wasn't anything scary. Like that. It's no, weird it was when so you're in the cool. Water, it's not scary. Yeah, it was, it was so, so cool. cool. Um, we I didn't tried to get footage on the GoPro. Yeah. I don't think you can see anything. We it's could so see a dark. lot more in the water than the camera shows. Yeah. But, um, but you get like a they call it glow stick, but it's like a a light that they clip on your tank and then you have a torch each but other than that like you can't really see much past like your torch light but mm. it's so cool um you just kind of follow so we have a guide when you do your first night dive you have to have a guide so we were just following our guide and like she has two lights on the back of her yeah but there's like a massive turtle which is literally apparently the size of like this bed like a double bed size that's 150 years old and he sleeps down there but we didn't see we him, find him which is really sad we looked him in the caves couldn't find him i think some of the others did see him but they didn't see the shark no so <laughs> you can't have it all so yeah it was probably the coolest thing we've ever done and was cool. maybe we'll ever do for a very long time um so if for any reason you ever get the opportunity to do a night dive definitely do it definitely do it. it's not scary no i was so nervous before but then once you're in it's kind of like you're fine also i'm really scared of deep water and water that you can't see below you and for some reason i wasn't scared at all i was absolutely fine yeah the adrenaline kind of takes over once you're in and then it's really cool you kind of know if you're a bit worried when you're diving because your air runs out quicker mm. <laughs> and my air was going down very slightly so that's how we know i was absolutely fine yeah exactly but anyway we're just gonna there's like pudding out there and then Everyone just like socialises and then goes to bed really. Yeah. So we shall see. Last night we went to bed at half past eight slash nine. Which is It's early starts though. The first yeah, dive is, the first dive today was at half seven. 
but so you got to be there for quarter to seven. Everyone else is kind of like socialising and playing games, so we should make I feel an like effort. We We just got back from our second dive of the day. Um, is that our second dive? Yeah, so yeah. we did one at sunrise. When, 6 30. 6 30. Yeah, it was an early one. It was one. a very early one. We we're a bit tired. Yeah. And then we did another one at 11. There is another, no, another dive. One at 9. Did another one at 9. And then there is another dive now. It's 11. But we're going to skip it and get our drone up. Yeah. Um, but it was very cool. We saw two sharks in the last dive. And the GoPro, because of the pressure, the button had got stuck. So we couldn't film anything, which was so annoying because they were just like right there chilling. It was really cool though, wasn't it? It was really cool. We also saw, we found an anemone an yeah. and um, there were about like four or five clownfish in there. So yeah, cool. that was cool. Like these guys. Yeah. I don't know how good our GoPro footage was, to be honest, but um, we'll obviously show you what we got. And then we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go get the drone up now. So we just made it back from our diving trip and we just checked into Southern Cross Atrium Apartments where we're staying. So I'll give you a little tour. So I think since we last spoke, there was a third dive of the day, but we were like, we'll skip that one and we'll get the drone up. So we went over to the bow of the boat, like started um, launching the drone and it just malfunctioned and decided to literally just like drop over the side into the ocean. So, <laughs> so that was good. So we went, we had to then go in for the third dive, even though we didn't actually do a proper dive, but we went down to the bottom of the ocean and collected the drone, but it's pretty much broken. Yeah, he's dead now. He's dead, so we're just working out, it's insured, we're just working out whether we can get one while we're here or whether, how it's gonna work basically. But we're gonna work that out in a minute. I think we need a shower and we need some water and yeah. some food. Um, but yeah, we just checked in, so I'll show you. We've got like a little apartment rather than a hotel because we have four nights. Yeah, four nights. Four nights. That's exciting. It's exciting to be in one place for four nights. I think yeah, I'm yeah. unpack. Actually unpack, yeah. yeah. So, first of all, wardrobe we've got an iron we actually have a washing basket we've already got the washing basket out ready to do some washing because everything is just damp and gross i don't think there's anything in here just a boiler lovely then we've got this whole kitchenette situation over here and unfortunately it's two single beds pushed together but you can't have everything a little space over here bathroom shower nothing exciting it's quite basic but it's like got everything you need view is not so great <laughs> Ta-da! but we have a nice little balcony so what more could you want eh what more could you want we're doing our weekly shop we're very excited about it having some healthy food this is where we're staying southern cross atrium apartments it's actually quite nice just got all the shopping Carrying it back. Also, look how much it looks like we're in Hawaii. Like, the streets are all a grid like America. There's like mountains in the backdrop, all these palm trees, it's wild. Cute little pool area. Good morning. So, we we're off on our skydive this morning. Callum's nervous. I'm nervous too. But Callum hates me for booking this right now, don't you? <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm very nervous, but it's going to be fun. It's my second one. It's Callum's first one. It's like nearly 6am. We're meant to be doing it for sunrise, so hopefully, I haven't actually looked outside, hopefully the weather's good. But we'll let you know how it goes. We're going to get the video, so I'll insert them here. <laughs>
I'm real. Yeah. Very cool. What would you guys say it's not? Uh, the free ball. Free ball. Probably when we just touch down. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's to the ground. <laughs> no, the views are crazy. Awesome, guys. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. So, we just got back from the skydive. It was bloody crazy. It was awesome. It so was so fun. good. So I was so cool. scared. And I'm still scared. <laughs> but it was, it was so cool. No, it was amazing. So the views were insane. Yeah. Um, it was like over the sea and then you had the mountains in the background. Hopefully you can see it on the video. Yeah. I got a like first, is it first person or third, third person video? Yeah. And Callum got the wristband. Yeah. So I, I, yeah. I got, my instructor just had the GoPro on the wristband with Kirsty had literally paid someone else to dive with Jump us out and film me. So it looks really cool. But I kind of look scared in that video and I was loving life. So hopefully on the, video on his wrist I look like I'm enjoying a bit more but um yeah it was awesome it was so fun yeah so much fun we now have muddy bums because you land on your bum <laughs> and we're gonna go get a coffee and some food yeah we just got breakfast at bang and grind and we're looking at Callum's skydive they're photos let dying. me see one of them it's <laughs> we're absolutely dying at his pictures <laughs> it's so funny because your mouth gets so dry, you end up like your mouth just looks so <laughs> it's weird. Really the point, isn't it? <laughs> like this. <laughs> oh, so good. We're on the come down from the adrenaline now, aren't we? I'm exhausted. We got up at half five, so um, now the adrenaline's worn off. I'm just so tired. It's like a mega high, and then suddenly you're like, oh. we're gonna we're gonna chill out for the rest of the day, really, aren't we? We've yeah. got a island trip tomorrow, so we're just gonna edit some stuff, um, get some reels prepped, nothing else really. Go to the gym, maybe go, go to, to the, the gym. Pool. We have a gym here, and there's a pool here, so nothing too exciting. But we'll vlog if anything fun happens. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. Hello. Hello, I'm well. We are on a boat again. We're we on a Fitzroy Island for the day. The one just made me just like a ferry boat. It's five minutes over to Fitzroy Island. We're going to go do some snorkeling. We forgot it's stinger season, so we need to hunt down a stinger suit. Otherwise, I don't know if I'll be going in. <laughs> um, but we've got a whole picnic. It's meant to be a beautiful island, so it should be really fun. And then we have the boat back at four, so it's like half eight at the moment. So we have all day. The sun's coming out. Yay! This water is so clear. So this is Fitzroy Island. What's your first impressions? It's very cool. It's like a, what do you think of when you think of a tropical island? Yeah. And the beach is a little bit uncomfortable it's and like, it's not very big. But I well, think there's more beaches, but yeah. we just couldn't find them. We need to go find the other beach, yeah. really. I think we'll probably have a little snog away and then go explore a bit. We hired stinger suits because it is stinger season, but I really want to just go in without when this. Look how clear the water is. It's so lovely. Some people over here without any stinger suits on, so I'm going to wait and see if they get stung. <laughs> and then I'll know. We're at Nudie's Beach, which is not a nudist beach, but look how blue and beautiful. Hi, Bee. Absolutely lovely. Also, we went out and bought a load of rice the other day. I don't know if you can see it, but a little drone bug is in here. We're trying to dry him out and see what happens. We shall see. So we've just done our washing. It's gonna be our last bit of laundry that we can do for a few weeks because we're tomorrow going to Perth. we're flying to Perth. So tomorrow we're flying to Perth and then we're staying in a hotel for the night and then we're grabbing the van which is going to be our oh home nice. for the next few weeks. Travelling Western Australia for three weeks. Yeah, it's going to be so fun. So what are we doing? We're going all the way up and then all the way down past Perth and then the bottom bit. Yeah, so much. it's going to be so cool. We've got some really cool tours booked. We're going to swim with sea lions, stingrays, maybe whales dolphins. and sharks. I don't know, all kind of stuff. Swimming with dolphins. We've got a whale watching tour. 
for it's gonna be Kilowells. So cool. Yeah, it's going to be sick. Very excited, but we're going to go for dinner now. We both love it, man. Like, yeah, well, we've both had a stomach bug for a while, and it's the first time we both um, actually have an appetite, so we're going to eat something, which is more exciting than you know. So, where are we? We're at the courtyard on the Esplanade. Yeah, the Esplanade is where everything is. It's a little bit... It's a little bit like... It's not high-end. It's not high-end, oh, but it's just great. casual casual dining. Yeah. But anyway, look how good. We've gone for some nachos, which we're sharing. And then we're sharing um, a quesadilla. And Callum's got cheeseburger, spring rolls. They sound and look gross, but I've had them in the Cheesecake Factory in Florida. It's so good. I've had them before. They're also, I also think they're real good. So, <laughs> here's our drone and this bowl of rice. We're about to leave for... Perth, so we thought we would try it and just see. We're not hopeful, but we thought we'd just see if it works. So we had a look at the drone, and there's just so much salt like dried around everywhere. Things aren't moving properly, and one of the camera lenses is smashed, I guess, from the pressure. Yeah, it's, it's so properly it's just, done. Yeah, we didn't even try and turn it on. We're just gonna get, we have the, um, you can get like a care refresh plan with DJI so you can get a replacement. So we're gonna do that when we get home because you can't do it while you're in Australia, which is annoying because we really want a drone. So we think we're gonna buy one in Perth. We're gonna have a look. Um, but that's where we're heading today, yay. Yay, and then we pick up the van tomorrow and then we're gonna be on the road for three weeks. Yeah. It's gonna be so much fun. So we're gonna start a new vlog for that. So we're gonna end this one here, but thanks for watching guys. Bye. Bye.